Hello everyone! So for today's lecture, we are going to consider solving situational problems involving circles. So we are going to apply here what we have learned about circles. Okay? So let's start. We have here problem number one. So after reading the problem, ang alam natin ay ang street with two lanes, each 10 feet wide, goes through a semicircular tunnel with radius 12 feet. Since ang tunnel is semicircular, we can apply the properties na alam natin about circles. At para mas madaling isolve ang problem, we will first illustrate the semicircular tunnel sa xy plane. Pero hindi pa natin magagawa yon because we don't know yet the center of the circle. But take note na ang center ng circle nag indicate lamang ng location nito sa xy plane. Hence, to solve this problem, we will just let any center, and to make it easier, we will let the center be at the origin. Since the center is at the origin, at ang radius ay 12, we have this semicircle. And the equation is given by x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Since our radius is 12, we have 12 squared and that is 144. So ang final equation natin ay x squared plus y squared equal to 144. Ito ang gagamitin nating equation to solve the problem. Ngayon, ayon sa problem, we need to know the height of the tunnel sa edge ng lane. So suppose ito yung street with two lanes, each is 10 feet wide, so ang height na hinahanap natin ay ito. But, this is just the value of y when x is equal to 10 or negative 10. Either of these two values of x, ang gagamitin, we will have the same value of y. So dito, ang positive na lang ang gagamitin natin. Now by substitution, we now have 10 squared plus y squared equal to 144. Evaluating, mayroon tayong 100 plus y squared equal to 144. Solving for y, we add negative 100 both sides para yung y squared na lang ang matira. So we have y square equal to 44. Extracting the square roots of both sides, we will have y equal to positive negative square root of 44 or approximately equal to positive negative 6.63. Since yung height ang hinahanap natin, yung positive ang kukunin natin. Thus, the height of the tunnel at the edge of each lane I 6.63 feet. Ngayon, we have here problem number 2. After reading the problem, we know that the lowest point ng circle, o yung ferris wheel, ay 1 meter above the ground. At ang highest point naman ay 31 meters above the ground. Now, we will have an illustration for the problem. Suppose your x-axis is the ground. Therefore, ito ngayon ang lowest point, 1 meter above the ground, at ito ang highest point, 31 meters above the ground. So, ito ngayon ang circle o yung Ferris wheel. Consequently, we can say na ang diameter ng circle ay 30 based sa lowest point nito at sa highest point nito. At ang radius naman ay 15 kasi half ng diameter ay radius lang. So we have 15. Also, based sa illustration, we can just locate the center of the circle and it is located at point zero sixteen. As a result, may equation na tayo gamit ang standard equation na x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equal to r square. And that is x minus 0 yung h quantity square plus y minus 16 yung k quantity square 
equal to 15 yung r quantity square. Or simply, x square plus y minus 16 quantity square equal to 225. Ito ngayon ang equation na gagamitin natin to solve the problem. Ngayon, ayon sa problem, we need to know the distance of the car from the center horizontally when it is at an altitude of 25 meters. So, illustrating, ito ngayon yung altitude at nandito ang car. Ito naman yung horizontal distance na hinahanap. So, may point tayo on the circle na may coordinates na x25. Ito ngayon ang gagamitin nating point to substitute sa equation para masolve ang problem. So, by substitution, when y is equal to 25, we have x squared plus 25 minus 16 quantity squared equal to 225. That is, x squared plus 81 equal to 225. Solving for x, we have this. And by extracting the square root of both sides, we have x equal to positive negative 12. Here, we will just take the positive 1 since we are looking for a distance. Therefore, the car is 12 meters away from the center horizontally when it is at an altitude of 25 meters. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning.